Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I do have a brand new mod that I am going to be testing out tonight. This, I believe, is based off of a 1978 Chevy K9 Blazer. According to the ad, back in 1978, this truck was able to keep to take a beating and keep on rolling. We're going to, we are in Smithville Dam right now, and we're going to go take it down into that swampy area. All the gauges are, the interior is amazing. It's got bucket seats, which is really cool. The old fashioned shifter. I believe the speedometer, yep, the speedometer does work on it. I have the 458 big block in it. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, go really get this truck all muddy and stuff because this is an off road vehicle after all. But surprisingly, I've only, I've only got, I've only had two accidents with this, with this vehicle so far. Also, um, I hope you guys did enjoy my new video that I posted about the car show that I was at. Um, unfortunately, I could not make another, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make a video because the weather was not very cooperative. Like, it was, it pretty much, it started raining at probably, what was it, maybe, it's like, probably, it was like during the parade and then, Right after the parade, got over it completely downward, so. Yeah, see so yeah, we got a little, we got some pretty good amount of rain. About like, what, two, two or three inches. Inches of rain that we got here. Which actually isn't bad, considering the fact that we needed the rains for, especially for crops and stuff, so. So this, if you remember from the last video, like where I tested the ram, it's the same area. I got a sense of deep water, and the, the whole terrain is all mud and sludge and everything. I thought we could take this K5 Blazer out. First, we're going to test it out without the all-wheel drive on it, and then we're going to put it into um, all-wheel drive and really push the engine in it and see what it's capable of. in the quarry area because we all know how much the quarry really gets 
get some guys to be different aggravated. So let's take it on on a cruise here and get to the quarry and stuff. I can't wait to see how much. Let's see how many times it can take to get to get damaged. to the door. That's, that's no big deal. Now we're going to try to climb it up, climb back up. We're going to go on to the intensifying side area now. Let's see, where's, where's the most dangerous area of the quarry? It looks like right, um, looks like right here there's a rock right there. If I could use it screen over. Actually, we're going to go right up the way we came. We're going to start right here, and we're going to pretty much work our way around, around the, the, wait, hold up, where do we, okay. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to make our way around the quarry, and up. Get back up on the road. Alright, let's do this. And then we're going to do it without all-wheel drive, because I know this is a I 
getting the hang of the quarry. It's just when you have like two things on it, like if you're hauling like something like what, like down there, there's like a big cargo container oh, stuck on a rock there. Like down there or whatever, there's a cargo container or whatever, stuff like that. When you have all these rocks, it's kind of a pain in the butt if you think about it. You actually really think about it. And if you're an actual quarry driver, you know what I'm talking about. Like if you deliver stuff like that on quarries and stuff, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's, you can take it 
take the camper shell off of it and turn it into an actual truck. Like an off, like an actual pickup. That's cool. I should have known that. I didn't even see that until now. Let me, do, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do it as, a, as an actual truck too. Or actually take off, have the camper shell off and actually have a truck. Because if you want me to, I can definitely probably make that happen. Thank you.